Welcome to round three of the Stompy Post League. On the play here. I'll keep it. Turbo and Chalice. An Apex Devastator. Only ten mana. You never don't just Chalice turn one if you have it. I just need a cloud post now. Alright. Well, luckily, I don't use too many activated abilities on my own. This is probably like a colorless post list, though. So I should definitely save the Vesuva for their cloud post. Probably play the forest next, most likely. Let's see what they name with the spyglass. They're probably looking at a devastator. Just never expecting uh, that card to see play in Legacy. Oh, how sweet would it be here, though? If I draw on my own cloud post, I'll play that first. Claimer. Sweet. Not this deck. Let's still play our forest here. This could be their name. Should name Giant in most cases. But we also have Hydras now. They require green mana as well. Glimmer post. Okay. Let's thought not them next this turn. Ooh. Maybe I'll save my glimmer post. Just play out... Yeah, let's play to this Devastator. <laughs> let's say Hydra. I'll uh, play this Thought Knot out here. Karn, Ugin, Ugin, they have a Suva of their own. Probably just take Karn here. I feel like that's going to be the most problematic. It's the only thing that's like within casting range right now, anyway. Yeah, I'll do that. I might just decide to go get my my Cloud Post next turn. Oh, I might wait one more turn just so my Vesuva can be Cloud Post. And maybe they'll play out their Vesuva without a cloud post already. It's annoying. Makes me not want to get cloud posts just yet. Hmm. Yeah, let's not play cloud post out yet. Let's play glimmer post here. I almost feel like we just beat them down with go los and not get cloud post ever you also get uh cascading cataracts to help me cast stuff without uh yeah i think i want to do that actually i'll have to wait one more turn but i want to try and not involve uh Cloud post if I don't have to. Not only because of this, but also because of the Vesuva that I know is in their hand. I could play Glimmer Post, get the Cataracts this turn. Then 
I would need another ancient tomb after that. Maybe I should just get the pressure on the board, though. Yeah, let's get the Golos out on board. And that way if I draw another Ancient Tomb, then I can start cataraxing. So you need seven mana plus this cataracts to get something out of it. Go, oh, it's cataracts. You went, they went the Hydra. <laughs> That's pretty lame. Is there any worthwhile? Is it worthwhile to just play this on zero? Actually, it might be. Little moto. Always screwing up at inopportune times. Just regather itself. Maybe it's because I was typing something to the opponent. I was going to say maybe next turn we'll get to see the Hydra. What's going on? Suva, that's good. It gives them no extra mana right now. <sighs> I just need a cataracts again. I 
guess I should save the one of the forests here. See what this gets us. God. Guess just some <laughs> some life gain. Or more cataracts triggers. Yeah, there's just some pretty awful Golos triggers. I well, can't ancient tomb now, at least. Oh, the life gain, and they can probably Ugin. They could do Ulamog if they have it. No, no, I guess not. Maybe they can't. It's not that big of a deal here, I don't think. I just want to try and find like an ember cool. Let's see. Let's make sure I don't have enough mana to just cast it at this point. I don't think I do. Eight mana. Yeah, I just like uh <laughs> cascading here. On, like Emrakul one time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Silly. Alright, against Colorless Post. I think I just want Force of Vigors. Possibly Ballistas. Probably not, though. I just forces then. I guess chalices aren't great. So just do a clean chalice or force a bigger swap. I know it's pretty sad not playing the Hydra, but just did not want to get a cloud post out on the board and try and help them with that. I'm all of this. It's better. Uh, let's put another forest back, I think. I might just play a cloud post out immediately. Just get the race on. Monolith. Alright, I might end up force of vigoring, getting rid of this prime time then. Especially if they play out like a key here. Trinisphere. Okay, this is fine. Let's play this right now though. Hmm. Rejuvenator or Caracas? Even Golos, too. I think Rejuvenator. Just try and ramp here. And also, it's a green card. It's not bad. Yeah, this really doesn't feel that bad. Like, all they have is a Trinisphere now. Oh, perfect. Atmosphere in an ancient tomb. Hmm. 
It's not, not me though. Chalice on one. Okay. It's not a problem. Let's just continue ramping here. If they play another Locust Land out, I could force a Vigor if I want. This turn, let's play Rejuvenator. Hopefully, hit another Locust Land, and they can also Spyglass. Yeah, let's still Rejuvenator. Like the way the mana works out a little better, if that works. Higher upside play, I guess. And it did not. I mean, I guess we have prime time mana now, but. They could also still play their own Locust Land, and then I could play the Force of Vigor. I don't know why I would do that, though. Alright, hopefully they don't play, like, an Ulamog. I could beat Ugin. I'll definitely have to spyglass that. Hopefully I get enough mana to be able to like play Golos though. Man, it's annoying. Alright, well I think I'm just playing prime time then. And that forces them to tick it down. Just have a shitload of mana next turn. I mean I got everything I need in hand. I think we probably won this. Yeah, it took d minus three there, Ugin. Uh oh. Cloud boast. This allows me to play a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, they have their own, jeez. Let's see what's in their hand first, I guess. A city. Temple, just say Ugin with that.
<laughs> and also, also Ulamog. To set their lands here. Ultimate power. <laughs> Alright, 3-0. See if we can get a trophy with this.